Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrell is joining us mm. now. And uh, we've got some big issues that we're dealing with tonight. We do indeed. Very cold tonight. Not mm -hmm. unlike that morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's the, exactly. I was thinking about today. If it launched today, we were doing great. We're in the 50s and 60s. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow morning is going to be another cold launch, yeah. uh, launch day if we had one. But not that cold. We'll be in the 30s and 40s. Not overnight lows below freezing at the Cape. Take a look at what's going on tonight. We do have a frost advisory in effect for Marion County. That means frost is likely. That's you, Ocala, Reddick, Dunnell, and Bellevue, all of you. It also includes Alachua County and Putnam County. Frost likely, please cover up your tender plants, bring the ones in the pots inside, or you won't have any plants tomorrow if the frost gets you. Here is radar tonight, we're doing well. Dry as we can be and really clear. Nothing to really pinpoint except for all that cold. The daytime high today goes into the record books as a high of 70. Only two degrees below the norm, right? But that actually occurred just after midnight where you tucked in sleeping. Temperature's been dropping just about all day. We had actual afternoon temps of about 62 or 63, then on down to 61, and we just keep right on dropping. And we're not going to stop where we are now either. Look at all the blue on this map. 35 in Charlotte, 33 in Nashville, 40 in Atlanta, 51 in Pensacola, 57 in Tampa. Ooh, there's the full moon. See it? And pretty? Mm -hmm. Oh, the wolf moon. How the moon, <laughs> baby. Bark at the moon. Temperature reading, Bavard County and Launch Credit Union cameras 55 with that big full moon coming up over the water. It is some kind of gorgeous. On the Orlando Health camera 53, wind from the north northeast. Here's Daytona Beach. Temperature reading in Daytona 51 degrees, wind from the north five. Remember, we don't start to talk about the wind chill factor until we drop it in the 40s. So give it a couple of hours and the wind keeps going. We'll have a wind chill factor then. Ocala, 49, 48 in Gainesville, and 48 in Palm Coast already. 27 degrees colder right now in Sanford than you were last night at the same time. Wow, what a difference. Very little cloud cover, and the moisture we're seeing here coming in, trying to modify the air mass, not doing well yet. Dry air still firmly in control. Overnight tonight, just clear and really cold. By tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., Troy's in here pinpointing some frost. Marion County. Then through the day tomorrow, loads of sunshine, but not much warmth. Come Saturday, more clouds, more humidity, and we do get back to normal. Not tonight, though. Tonight in Ocala, 35, 38 in the villages, 41 in Palm Coast. Right here in Orlando, 45 is the low. Here's my forecast for tomorrow. Your forecast is sponsored by Cash for Life from the Florida Lottery. Daytime high tomorrow, mid-60s and not beyond. Check out the week ahead. 65 does it for your high, the overnight low tomorrow night, kind of where we're going tonight, down into the mid-40s in Orlando. Saturday's high 72, and by Sunday, we're back to 77. But at least you get used to that. <laughs> Lo and behold, another cold front comes in on Monday. Monday's high is 61, and for Groundhog Day on Tuesday, a high of 60. Tom, thank you.